rules and guidelines for prospective Bowen University students. First off, let me congratulate you on your admission. You have passed the orders of um, senior secondary school living certificate, examination, YA, Kwase, Neku, as the case may be, secondary school. I told you, you guys are the MVPs, the real Gs. Congratulations. I pray that the Lord would grant you good success. As the case may be, that four years, five years, six, seven that we'll be spending in Bowen University, as the case may be, may God that grant me good success would also grant good success in Jesus' name. As you all know, Bowen University, or let me say, let me tell you, in case I have viewers that do not know that Bowen University is a faith-based institution. So Bowen University is owned the proprietor is the Baptist, the Nigeria Baptist Convention, and so it is a faith-based institution of learning. That means that it is different from the conventional university that you are used to, that most Nigerians are used to, or most people are used to. There is a popular adage that says that a city that is not governed by rule, everything goes. I have paraphrased it. But well, everything goes in a city where there is no rule. And where there is no rule, there is no sin. But here in Bowen University, or in Bowen University, because I'm in my father's house, I'm a graduate. <laughs> in Bowen University, there are rules governing Bowen University. And I know there are means, there are rumors flying here and there. So I would be giving you facts. Mm -hmm. and debunking some myths and rumors about Bowen University. I know there is one rumor that is going around that in Bowen University, they don't allow phones. This is not convenient. In Convenant University, they don't allow smartphones, but in Bowen University, it is allowed. Another myth that I would love to debunk here is that they allow us go out. They allow. They give us free movement, like Lead City University. I tell you that Lead City University is not Bowen University. And like I said while starting this video, I said that there are rules guiding my alma mater. So the number one rule on the list that the entire school take in IS team is the Chapel Rule. The Chapel is a citadel of worship for the old Bowen University community and the school because it is a Christian faith based institution they take the chapel services in high esteem with utmost respect so I'll be telling you this we go for chapel services so stay tuned if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel just click on the subscription box yeah I give shout out on this channel and I'm not only putting on this shit because I want everybody to know that there's no next semester. <laughs> but then I want to give shout out to the producers of this shit. It is of good quality and I enjoy it. The quality suits my skin and I love it. It is it gladdens my heart to know that something of good quality still comes out of Nigeria. So I'll be dropping their Instagram handle in the description area of this video. Please check them out. And I know that a trial will always convince you to purchase your shirts from them. They are based in Lagos. Made.ng. You know this Instagram handle is underscore here. And I'm not sure about the underscore, but I know it is Made.ng. I'll drop their details in the description area so chapel rules we go to chapel on sunday you should know now christians meet on sunday so on sunday by nine o'clock for sunday school then by 10 for church service then we meet also by wednesday this one is for the old school community everybody meets in the chapel the chapel is in the center of the school when you get to the school you know that this is the chapel the structure the edifice it is superb i don't think there is a prototype anyway i don't think there is a replica anywhere else so i am proud to say that our chapel is 
beautiful. You see that for yourself when you get there. So on Wednesday, we meet by 10.30 a.m. Don't worry about your lectures. Lecturers are also coming for the chapel service. So chapel um, lectures will be suspended for that period of time. And you will go to the chapel service for midweek service. Then for students, we have voluntary Bible study on Monday. The reason why it is called voluntary Bible study is because it is not compulsory. It is a Monday and students are just coming back from lectures. But for committed Christians, hmm, yes, committed Christians, you know that. I, I learned a lot from VBS, shutting VBS, voluntary Bible study. So you find it interesting to join VBS. Then on Thursday, the, the student fellowship um, that is anchoring all students on campus is called the Bowen Baptist Student Fellowship. So we meet every Thursday by 6 p.m. for just an hour, 6 to 7 p.m. And don't worry, I am giving you the assurance that you enjoy every bit of the service. So that is Thursday. Um, in the hostel as well, there are devotions. In the morning by 6 a.m. and at night by 10 p.m. This is a particular rule that you should not commit an office against. 6 a.m. in the morning, come out for devotion. You just have to come out of your room and stay by your entrance. There is a devotion leader already in your block your hostel, on your floor, in your block, in your in your dormitory, as the case may be, pick any out of all the options I've mentioned. And the person will lead devotion, maximum of devotion is 10, um, 30 minutes, yes. So by 6.30, thereabouts, you are done with devotion. Most times, it's not even up to 6.30. Then by 8 o'clock, lecture start and you go out for your lectures. So... Another thing I'll be mentioning now is that curfew in Bowen University is 8.30 p.m. So it is a rule that whatever food you'll be getting from the cafeteria, you should have gotten it before 8.30 because the cafeteria will shut down business by 8.30 p.m. So this is me also telling you that we are not allowed to cook. The only um, appliances or incenses you can bring to... Um, Bowen University are your cutleries, electric, kettle, and your iron. You are not allowed to cook, and the cafeteria setting is pay as you eat system. You There's a ticketing system. You buy um, per spoon, per plate, and when you get there, you understand. Just get your ticket, 300 naira words, 400 naira words, 500 naira words. Just do the mental sum, and it gets your food. So, um... For the rules guiding um, code, dress code, is that you dress corporate. You dress corporate. If you're a lady and you're putting on a skirt, your skirt should be longer or on your nail. It should not be shorter than your nail. This is a school environment. Mini skirt is not allowed. If you're putting on a gown, it should be the, the minimum length is your nail. So for guys to you have to put on pants trousers, not jeans, with belt, of course, and then with tie. If you don't want to be embarrassed around campus because there are quality assurance staff here and there that would be going around campus to ensure that these rules are being um hmm, that these rules you abide by these rules. Mm -hmm. So, guys with tie, your shirts, if you're a lady, your skirt should be long and not to be short. Then, this type of earring is not only allowed on Sunday, a dropping earring on Sunday. It's the school environment you are going there to learn. And then, we are not allowed to leave home. Bowenat are not allowed. I'm not a Bowenat. I'm a Buenia. <laughs> Buenia are not allowed to leave the school environment. If you have any cause to leave the school, there are procedures you have to take right later. Your parents will send a parental consent letter via your mail or WhatsApp or any other social media platform. Then you print it out and attach it to your letter and you, are, you abide by the protocols 
to get your exact pass to exit school. Another thing that I'll be mentioning now is that because of the situation of the country and the health factors surrounding COVID-19, you have to be with your nose cover. Yes, that reminds me, you have to put on your ID card too or you have it with you for easy identification. I mentioned that there are quality assurance staff moving here and there around school and they can just ask you for identification and you have to identify yourself. These are basic rules that you have to know and then because of the distance and the large expanse of land around campus, you have to move with cap mobility you cannot trek it i pity people that trek that trick so um there are cab systems you order a cab basically via phone you call them tell them your location and you pay it is three um passengers per ride because of the covid 19 protocol you have to ensure um social distancing so two at the back and one has a front but if you are you can order a loan a trip is 200 naira so just include that in your bill you might want to ask me that how much can you um can you spend on a meal when i was on campus mostly before the um rising food prices i eat 300 naira per meal but right now you'll be good with 400 naira per meal and most times breakfast is not always a cafeteria meal you can just prepare your cereal before leaving um before leaving the hostel or your beverage and then there is there, there are many mats on campus you can decide to come to school to do your shopping or you come to school to buy your provisions if you don't want to carry every loads from where you are coming from. So I wish you a good stay in Bowen University. I pray that the Lord will see you through this academic journey and your parents will be proud of you. Make God proud. Yes. Remember the child of whom you are representing on campus. This is me telling you that you are made for more with your books and the Lord will grant you good success. Thank you for watching this video. If you've not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. Yes. Oh, yes. For ladies, you cannot make a long hairstyle. The, the length of your hair is your shoulder length. I am permitted to do this now because I'm a graduate. So why do you want to front rules when you can just finish your school and you have the rest of your life to do whatever hairstyle you want to make? And... The color of any attachment to be adding to your hair should be the color of your hair. So if you are light skinned, you are permitted to use a light skinned attachment, maybe gold. But right now my hair is black and I have to use black. But this length, you can say I ruled it, is not the bowen length. I'm a graduate now, what do you expect? <laughs> but for the regulated hair length for bowen university is the shoulder length. So, my people, this is me telling you, I call it a day here today. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.